Hey everyone, my name is Esther and this is Esther's Chronicles TV. Okay, I just thought to react to this video that is flying online about the woman that came to Pastor Inetje's church to do a testimony. She came to Pastor Inetje's church to do a testimony and Pastor Inetje discovered that the testimony was fake. I will let you watch the video but what i'm now seeing people reacting is that pastor nature need to apologize to the woman so if you don't know the story a woman went to his church to give a testimony and in the course of his testimonies the testimony her speech was being distorted she was not coherent she was not saying so many things that were seemingly true and Pastor Ineche interrupted him or waited to the end of the testimony and said, the testimony is fake. So you are going to watch that video now. And um, I'll come back to finalize what I think about the video, my personal thoughts. And as you watch the video, let me know your personal thoughts also in the comment section. God on this mountain and they are appreciative of God. So your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. Above only. I want to appreciate God for my life and my family. And I want to thank God for using mommy and daddy for our sake. It all happened that uh, I was trying to school in uh, National Open University. Before I came to this dunamis, there's a lot of things that is happening in my life and my family. From my father's side and my mother's side, nobody is a graduate. They will only end up primary or secondary school. Praise the Lord. But when God remembered me, I got a job and I was, I was working and I decided to further my education. I started the school. I want to do law, law uh, program. I started 20, uh, 2014. So I continue like that. And I want to thank God because during that time, I never lack of money to pay my school fees. Praise the Lord. I keep going to the extent I go to 500 level and challenges everywhere. Problems, sickness, they afflict me with leg pain and I cannot be able to finish. My mates have finished. So the law uh, program is six years. So since I cannot be able to meet up, some of my mates finish and uh, I keep on like that. And uh, yesterday, God declared me well, she said that embargo was there in the course of her program. In the course of her program, she was afflicted. And it looked as though she wasn't able to, or she isn't going to finish that program. But God helped her. Yesterday, she graduated, like she said, the first person to, to bag a degree, a degree in her family. Degree in what? In what law? Law program. What's it, what's it called? What's the name of the degree like? Medicine is MBBS. Give her, give her the mic. What kind of degree is it? My Medicine is MBBS. BSC, sir. BSC in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSC in law. You either have LLB, LLB or BL. LLB. It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. BSC law. Is that how lawyers speak English? Please. Please, anybody who comes to this altar to share a testimony that is not true, you do it at the risk of yourself. At the risk of yourself. We are not playing here. We are not faking anything here. When she started her testimony and she's talking law, I knew there was no, nothing like law. No matter how bad it is, it hasn't got to that level. They say you got a degree in law. What degree? BSc. Is there any lawyer here who has a BSc in law? Lie testimony. Come to stand on the altar to tell lies in the name of testifying. Anyone who dares that you do it at your detriment, the Lord can make it alive. Come to make it look like the word, word, word of God is fake or that what God is doing is not real. You do it at the detriment of yourself. So, now, people are now saying that, oh, there's a school of thought, a, 
a large percentage of people are saying that Pastor Eneche need to apologize to this woman because the school that the woman went to has confirmed that the woman actually went to the school. So it could be that the woman was scared of the crowd. There's something they call stage, like a stage fear or stage fright, where when you see a crowd, you can't talk and all that. I saw these ladies of your view of TVC discussing it, and one of them kept saying that Eneche need to apologize. Eneche need to apologize. Pastor Eneche need to apologize. No. Personally, I don't think Pastor Eneche need to apologize. I'm sorry about what happened to the woman, but to call Pastor Eneche out and say she come and apologize to the woman, public apology, I don't think that's also right because... First of all, that altar that that woman is standing is the altar of God. And who is the who is the set man of that altar? It's Pastor Eneche. So if anything goes wrong on that altar, he will be held accountable. And if God has given him the spirit of discernment to be able to think that that testimony is wrong, you cannot call him out to now say that it is right. No matter what, the woman should have I don't know. I, I I don't think that calling out Pastor in nature to apologize to the woman is the right thing. I feel that that is rude because um, the woman was the one that went to the altar that is entrusted in Pastor in nature's hand. And because I don't think that Pastor in nature should apologize. I personally, I don't think the man should apologize. But no, 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 no. It's even too much to tell him to apologize. If he chooses to, yeah, but you don't call him out. As if it's your child that you are talking to. No. Because over time, some people have also fake testimony and it could be fake. But in this woman's case, it is not fake. But I don't think he should apologize. That is my own personal opinion. It's my thought. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Pastor Enikche should apologize to the woman for calling the woman out? Because he called the woman out and the woman could not answer some questions. So what do you expect him to do? Do you expect him to start giving reason why the woman will say it is BSC law when it is LLB law? No. It's, I'm sorry. The woman should take responsibility for it. If Pastor Anita chooses to apologize, oh, bravo, thank God. But if he doesn't, I don't think he has done anything wrong. What's your opinion? What's your thoughts? Let me know at the comment section. Should Pastor Nature apologize or not? I think he shouldn't. And if you think he should, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. It's your girl Esther. I love you all. Bye-bye.